it has certainly been a challenge uh, in terms of changing that particular culture that you speak of, of the hostility and the oppression and suppression. Um, our administration, upon taking office uh, two and a half years ago, that is the culture. And, it, and I'm, I'm not blaming one particular administration. I'm saying decades and decades of that particular culture has built up within the police department. Um, and many might say, well, the police have to face a lot of uh, deadly criminals out there, so they have to be hostile. Um, but we do not believe that there is any excuse for the police to be behaving in that way with law-abiding citizens. It is certainly something that has not just been discouraged uh, by our ministry and by the commissioner and the higher of the police department, but we've also uh, um, certainly taken action against officers uh, to deter them from that type of behavior and implemented more Im implemented over the last two years more community uh, oriented based policing and smart policing efforts um, and we have seen a significant decrease since we have disbanded certain units like the uh, G and the uh, cost team, the strike team. And so we've seen a decrease, and I certainly agree with you 100% that in order for us to have that level of communication and engagement with a police department, we have to have trust and confidence in them. And in order to build that trust and confidence, we need to change that particular culture. Um, it has shown um, a, a trend in the opposite direction, and so I'm thankful for that. But I am just asking that you bear patience with us. Um, we are seeing a decrease in that type of behavior, and we hope that it continues in that particular direction. Thank you.